Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance of Performance Chapel on StarMobiles.com. It is 1.39 a.m. I've got to get this recorded, and edited, and uploaded for you here to see it. 9 a.m. Texas time, so <laughs> needless to say, gonna try to get through this pretty quick, but we got two objectives in this video. Number one, we've got a winner from KC Tool Hall number 50. Number two, by popular request when we did the What's New in German Tools video, uh, went over really, really well. Y'all were wanting to see a lot of, lot more of that style of a video, and uh, I think we have enough new products we can kind of make that happen now. So, uh, first thing first, I guess let's jump in here. And uh, first off, a huge thank you to everyone that uh, actually left a comment and uh, participated in the giveaway. I never intended it to be like a ooh, you know, look at me milestone type of a thing, but that's how people. <laughs> intended to treat it so uh thanks for that but uh, i took everyone that met the criteria and uh we have a winner here it is dreamcat 4 so uh again never really done anything like this but if you will shoot me a message either here on youtube uh twitter facebook instagram the lone star mopars if you're on any of those three whatever's easiest for you uh basically i just need like your name and shipping address i will send that over to colin at kc tool and he will be sending you a super sweet Hazette 3 8 HP drive ratchet. So, uh, his comment, thanks man, first tuned in about number 7 or 8 he wants to say. Can't actually remember now, but it's been difficult to catch up at the time. <laughs> it's funny that it takes an American to do justice reviewing German tools, and I'm glad that you have been. Without this channel, probably wouldn't have picked up those two really nice Stavilla ratchets or the Philo Engled one, or probably quite a few of those Philo pliers and other Vera tools. My bank balance does not thank you. That is a common very frequently occurring comments throughout the course of the channel uh, but he certainly uh, he certainly does hope you will get an opportunity to do more giveaways in the future as they really are a great way to engage with people and grow the channel further now is it hashtag casey tool hall 50 or hashtag casey tool hall number 50 i don't know well uh, the good news is i randomized this i took everyone's comments took your username uh, made sure you were subscribed to the channel, made sure that you uh, had the hashtag in there because, again, it shows up easier. And, uh, again, you're seeing this right here, that little funky thing beside all these names here. That means that you're subscribed, and that <laughs> helps the criteria in the spreadsheet. So uh, I took everyone that met the criteria, hit the randomize button in a spreadsheet by sorting it, and it was Dreamcat 4. So congratulations to you. Big thanks again to everybody that was a part of the giveaway. And like I said, if you will shoot me a message with your name and address, I'll get it to Colin, and uh, they will be sending you that little ratchet right there. So, without further ado, for everyone else, again, uh, thanks so much for your support over the years. Again, uh, I don't feel like I would be in the right place if I didn't tell you uh, there were people that came before me, in particularly German tool reviews. Uh, he hasn't uploaded in a while. If you have somehow never heard of his channel, YouTube tends to suppress stuff you know, when you don't frequently upload. Uh, he has really good videos. They're informative. Uh, I enjoyed watching them on top of that. Uh, they're also way shorter than mine. <laughs> And uh, for a lot of you, that might be beneficial. Again, I do do timestamps, to my credit. Uh, but if you're just looking for something short and sweet to the point where you kind of learn what you want to learn, I uh, highly, highly recommend you check him out again. Uh, I stumbled upon him when I was trying to make sure that KC Tool was like a safe place to buy from. And uh, if you have somehow not seen or heard of his channel, uh, I'll probably cost you a lot more money and a lot more time. So <laughs> proceed with caution. But with that said, as I mentioned, the What's New in German Tool... Let me make sure we have sound. Yes, we do. Okay. So, the What's New in German Tool stuff went over really well. Uh, again, a lot of people make that style of video where you just, like, go to Harbor Freight's website and you say, Oh, look what's new. And uh, I think every once in a while that would, like, be okay. Uh, and to the credit of Harbor Freight, they do have a lot of new stuff come out compared to, like, other companies. But uh, it's not something I really want to, like, do all the time. But I guess some of you, you know, enjoy that. And um, in some cases, you know, like, you archive and compile the information. It makes it easier for you. Uh, but we're just going to jump into it here. I've kind of got the tabs already pulled up. You can attempt to read them if you want to spoil anything. Uh, but as I try to tell you, when you come in here to KC Tool, you hit shop. You got tool of the day. That's important. Uh, it's a little Picard funky anvil handle thing. 
uh, which is actually new to Picard, so if you're interested in that. But if you go to New Arrivals, you come onto this page. This doesn't keep items on the page for a long time. Uh, for example, right now it's got four. But these are four that I think you will find quite interesting. Number one, we've got a new Hazet catalog. Number two, there's a lot of new Hazet stuff we're going to talk about. Uh, next up, we have Vera Vera Vera. Now, if you're looking here, you can see they've got the SAE hex clip set, right? And the big, big thing here is that this set was previously available in the canvas pouch. Some people love the canvas pouch. Some people hate the canvas pouch. But uh, a lot of people really prefer this style, and they only offered the SAE stuff in the pouch. Metric, you get this little clip, folds over, you know, kind of nice. And uh, now, <laughs> while it's technically not like a new product, it's not like the hex keys are new, it's just they're offering the SAE sizes in the branded. Uh, in fact, I guess if we click this, Gonna try. See right there, that's what I want to highlight. They've got the sizes there, and of course it's written here. Although a lot of you tell me, you know, that you hate that because it rubs off. I still kind of like it because it's easy on your knuckles when you're used to like craftsman stuff. But this sucker right here, which I think I had pulled up already, that's the only way you could get these in the past. Uh, speaking of German tool reviews, he liked the pouches, and I remember he was able to buy the pouch standalone to put his metric ones in, if I remember correctly. And then they like kind of phase that out, and so we've sort of come full circle now. And uh, the SAE are available in the clip. So uh, that is kind of that. Now back to this page. Vera, prior to like their official 2021 stuff, uh, unleashed a whole crack of things upon people. There's tons of new screwdriver sets. A ton of them are in uh, the Vera to go stuff. You know, their little textile pouches. And uh, a lot of them come on the racks. But what I think a lot of you will be excited about, <laughs> the uh, Autobahn Dan's of the world, the bottle opener people, each one of these is going to come with this little guy right here, sort of like a keychain bottle opener. And uh, right here, it's the Tool Rebel keychain bottle opener, right? Uh, so there are several sets like this. Now, the interesting thing here, and something that they're sort of doing that's new and unique, you've sort of got like a pretty decent assortment here. You can see we've got Torx, we've got their uh, laser bits here on Philips and Slotted, and you've got an insulated one. So kind of click around on Vera, play around, see what you can find uh, before you just jump in and buy this, for example, because they will be tweaked. But like, you know, if this was T10, 15, 2025, number two Philips, a uh, couple of Slotted and an insulated one, uh, maybe an insulated Philips or, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Posy, you can kind of kind of find quite a few varieties there. So that's what we're going to cover there. Now, let's see. This was just a placeholder, I believe. We will come in and just go with VR because that's what we have next. So they have got, uh, if you recall, I brought these in from Viha. Uh, they're brand new 6-in-1, 11-in-1, and they've got a conduit reamer, which I'm thinking KC Tool must be out of stock on. But uh, these are available. They also have these little pegs here. And then, of course, the Speedy 2 is now out. So that's kind of what is new with Viha. Also of note with Viha, the big deal is expiring here in, what, like three or four days? Uh, so that means, most importantly, we're going to have a new one. And uh, we'll have to see what they've got. So uh, Vera, was this uh, anything? Yes, it is. So you can see, again, they've got like a third set here. Uh, they're all called, you know, the heavy metal screwdriver sets. So again... Don't just jump in and buy one, you know, to get the bottle opener. Make sure you, like, get the one that you need the most or that would service you the best, you know. And keep in mind, if you've got a growing collection of Vera drivers and you don't need some, then piece it together from that point. Do what's best for you. They're all going to be roughly in the same price point ballpark-wise, but, uh, you know, proceed according to your needs. So this right here is kind of interesting. It is a uh, variable screw depth deal. And apparently, if we come in here, you can see they've got a terrace slash decking construction set. Uh, so sort of further compartmentalizing their stuff, they're packing bits and this bit holder in an effort to have people that do that type of work, something super easy in one of their to-go pouches, and just all-inclusive, ready-to-go, replace-it-as-needed type of a deal. So uh, if that's on your spring or summer project list, or you do that for a living, it might be something you look into. Uh, then we've got a whole host of these things, right? So again, don't just buy one. 
come in and make sure you're getting the best included bits for you again right here you've got Phillips square <laughs> slotted if you don't use square you're probably not going to want to buy stubby five you might want to look at the previous four right so again do what is best for you right here we've got the aforementioned clip set uh, they put out finally like the jumbo uh, XL Joker. I've not brought any of these in, but I did finally think of something where it would actually be really handy. Uh, and that's when motors come in and they've got the junction boxes that conceal too. I seriously don't know how uh, from the factory they shoot the lag screws through the pallets. Uh, but I can't get a socket in uh, at work with the ratcheting wrenches. <laughs> you know, kind of a weird deal. Uh, so I sit there and meticulously turn it by hand with a box end open end combo, kind of depending on what angle. Once the screw starts to come up and we get tight clearance with the junction box, I have to go to the open end. Sometimes you can turn it like 15 to 30 degrees. It takes forever. Uh, that's where something like this would come in handy. Not necessarily the jumbo guy, maybe like the uh, small. But uh, maybe I'll bring one in. If you want to see it, let me know. They've also added a host of these uh, Torx bits. That's kind of similar to the VHA ones we brought in a long time ago. Uh, they've got some of their ESD stuff. And I think that's about, of course, the Canadian stuff, limited edition. You probably remember that, which now is a good time to buy those. They're cheap. Uh, around here, again, Square, the only stuff I really see it on is like window screens. So uh, it's one of the reasons I have not brought that in. But we will pop out of there here was the pouch i had already pulled up again that's the only way you could get those it also did help you to distinguish between them but the problem is a lot of people like the clips some people prefer the pouch proceed accordingly uh, again do what's best for you now knipex this is sort of a buzzkill because the placeholders aren't filled just yet <laughs> but uh, i want to highlight a couple of things number one we've got new jaw protectors i actually use those things uh, I convert, you know, my pliers, wrenches, and cobras into sort of like hybrid things where I won't like scuff up finishes. Um, works for me. Uh, your mileage may vary. Right here, uh, we've got the Tubix cutter. I think that video has been released. I want to say it was 49, so I should be safe talking about it. Uh, now they've got replacement deburring tools, and right here, a replacement pipe cutter. So 1754 will get you the Knipex. Uh, cutting wheel for that sucker. This is kind of interesting here. It's a cable tie cutting kit and it is super expensive. I don't remember if this is the carbide one. Uh, and I say that because they literally have a snip that's got carbide tips. <laughs> so uh, this isn't it, but at that price point, you kind of think it would be. That kind of seems a little high for cutting cable ties. Not gonna lie. Diagonal cutter with a rounded head. I guess it's uh, kind of like a specially designed tool since it's rounded, but uh, I was thinking at that price point it might be the carbide one. But yes, there is a carbide one. I found it a couple nights ago. I was <laughs> totally unaware it existed. Uh, coming down, this is sort of where we would want to stop because these suckers have been in and out of stock. They've been in super high. I mean, look at the reviews on that. And this thing is insanely hard to get. I had one on back order for months. Uh, and this is something made specifically for the American marketplace. Uh, spoiler alert, I have these. I think it's like Tool Hall 55. Um, it's going to work really well because I have it in front of a lot of wiring I'm going to do. Let's just actually take a quick look at these, kind of a preview for you. Again, I much prefer this style of their handle over their standard dipped one. Uh, right here, case in point, the current estimated time of arrival, late July. If you see this for the first time and you want it, look at the reviews, five stars. Again, this thing has been backed out months. I'm talking like, you know, two to four months at times. Uh, currently, it would be roughly three months right now. Put your order in now. I did get mine a little bit ahead of the scheduled arrival dates. So maybe you order now, maybe you get it like July 4th or the end of June. But uh, they are a really nice piece. And I'll just let the KC tool B-roll here kind of be your teaser for you. So uh, that, though, kind of highlights us back to what's new with Knipex. And uh, this right here, though, I wish there was a placeholder. I've seen these on Instagram. If you have their cable shears, which I think if we go back to featured items, it should be towards the top. Right here, these suckers right here. I've got a lot of sentimental value with these, I'll tell you why at another point in time but essentially it's the exact same thing but it looks like the handles might be bigger which was one of my big complaints there's also now in this area a crimp 
which again, I realize, you know, like if you're an electrician, you're probably not just solely out in the world with your fancy shoes. You would probably have a crimping tool with you. Uh, but uh, it's just kind of nice, and the price point doesn't really change that much. And uh, I'm not sure they come with the belt clip. I think they do, but they changed the handle design. It went from this to sort of more of like an NWS red and blue pinwheel thing. Again, when you see the picture, it will make sense. If you want me to bring those in, let me know. Uh, from Ghidorah, there's not a whole lot of new stuff, but uh, we've got the pliers wrench here. Again, they sadly have to do the red dipped handles for the American Marketplace. Uh, if you get any of their stuff that has that blue textured grip, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's one of my favorites, but uh, this is important. This is what I want to highlight. If you've seen the special video we did on the silent gear, this is the one that's got the magazine handle in it, and then this is just the standard one. So if you've got bits and you're like, oh, I'm not going to pay all that extra money, half the price and less, you can actually get just the silent gear. Uh, this thing is super, super nice. I think you will enjoy using it. And again, it looks pretty dadgum good in my opinion as well. Moving on, Stabila. Again, I love my little level from them. I'm sure some of you would use levels a lot more than I do, but I wanted to highlight this in particular. Uh, I rarely come to their page because, again, it's not something of high demand for me. But this is a special edition set, so if any of you collectors out there or people that just need to upgrade your levels, you get the keychain, you get a couple of smaller levels, and then you get a long one. So if you do any framing or you're a woodworker, or you fabricate you know, bigger items, uh, this is actually, one, a really good price for what you're getting, and two, you know, it's limited edition, so I thought some of you might be interested in that, but you get a 12, 24, and a 48, the limited edition case, uh, and then the keychain, let's check out the review, very good, so... <laughs> there you go. Uh, again, just wanted to highlight that because A, I think it's actually a decent price for what you're getting, and two, it is limited edition. Now, Star Villa, let's come in here. <laughs> we got uh, not a whole lot of new stuff, but I think some stuff kind of slipped under the radar on people. Number one, some of you might be interested in this tool bag from them. It uh, looks to be done very well. Uh, they've got some new foam inlays, and then right here, mm -hmm, how many of you knew these were available? Uh, they've got ratcheting wrenches, and they've got the switch on the side. So that is interesting. It's also pricey. Um, if you want me to bring one in, I used to try to bring in the exact same size for comparisons. That gets way too expensive. The channel is not in a position to do that, really. <laughs> you know, uh, If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Then I can do more of those things. But uh, now, like when I bring in multiple items you know, to compare, I kind of like try to get different sizes so it's at least somewhat practical to me. But uh, stuff like this, you know, 17, 19... Uh, 13, you know, I use quite a bit, and I could potentially bring one in see what it's all about. Let's just check out the 17. I've been spinning quite a few. Okay, made in Taiwan. Mm, I was unaware of that. But it would still be interesting to check out, would it not? Uh, and spoil it, no, I'm not going to tell you. I know some other things that I'm not going to tell you, because I, I think I will eventually bring that in. <laughs> not this, but the other thing. But uh, anyway, yeah, that... Uh, that's sort of a buzzkill there, but to be fair, you know, Taiwan does make pretty good ratcheting stuff. So, uh, Philo, there is not a lot new, but this beautiful guy right here is back from recall. They had some issues. They basically pulled everything, wanted to correct it. They've done that. I don't see the fancy kits. They had, like, which these awesome little cases like you saw in KC Tool Hall 51, the Philo Argo set. Uh, I really like their little strong boxes. They have this guy, and they pair it with a ton of stuff in multiple different smart boxes. But uh, they're probably sold out right now. If you are close to free freight, if you get a tool of the day and you're wanting to try something out or get a screwdriver, the Ghidorah Silent Gear and this one, they do have their own places. The Silent Gear, obviously, silent. It's fixed. This one, though, has a ratcheting head. And for that price point, that is stupid cheap. I don't care. This, again, is not made in Germany. Um, well, it says it is, but I'm pretty sure it's like the, is it Handy Twins or Two Twins? Somebody's explained it. <laughs> but, uh, it really is a pretty dadgum nice ratcheting driver. I've used mine quite a bit. I haven't had any issues with it. But, again, this is sort of the highlight of what's newest with Philo. 
Um, maybe we'll save that. We'll come back to it. NWS, there's really not anything new. This was uh, something they did on the Black Friday Christmas stuff. This right here, though, interests me. The contactless voltage tester. If anyone has tried that thing and has experience with it, let me know. It's something I might bring in. Uh, also, this guy right here that I still have not gotten broken in. I read some reviews on that the other day. They said the same thing I did. Uh, I will tell you, if you want a NWS knife, go with this guy. <laughs> Just trust me on that one. Uh, right here, KC Tool. I'm highlighting this for one reason and one reason only. They have a brand new t-shirt. When we had KC Tool Hall 50, it like coincided almost perfectly with when the shirt was brand new. And I thought, man, you know, that would be kind of cool if we could get like maybe, you know, four or five shirts to give away to people. And then Colin, again, that was all his idea with a ratchet. You know, I was honestly shooting for a t-shirt and I don't think anyone would argue <laughs> uh, the ratchet is a little bit better. And then if you really want a t-shirt, you just spend $17 instead of 100 on a ratchet, right? But let's check this out because a lot of you, uh, if you place large orders, you've probably received one of these for free. Some of you might have bought one anyway. This is their classic t-shirt. This is the front. Dates back to 2011 when it was designed. There you can see it being modeled. And right here, this is the brand new one. Okay, we've switched designs. We've got the small front chest logo. This is how I did t-shirts for car clubs. A little logo on the front chest. And then on the back, they kind of went to the more sleek, streamlined, kind of more of a modern look, right? Uh, so again, same price. You're not getting gypped because it's the new model or the latest and greatest or anything like that. <laughs> so again, if you're closing in on free freight, this is your ticket. It's also important to note, uh, free freight has been bumped to 75 bucks now. So uh, granted, that's really not a problem for most of us. <laughs> but uh, in the event that you're getting like, you're stoked, the Philo driver was tool of the day or the Ghidor silent gear was and you're sitting there at like 60 bucks throw the t-shirt on get free freight freight pro freight's actually not that bad because they use priority usps but uh you know if it was going to be like 10 to 15 bucks in freight you're almost better off getting a tool and having the free freight that's the way i handle things anyway so what now let's come over here the knipex deal I was kind of sad this did not have it. Uh, we, of course, have the XS. These I'm sort of interested in, and I haven't seen them on KC Tool or featured anywhere else yet, but uh, more on that, I guess, as we get to it. So, how about that? Uh, let's see here. Viha, this is Viha Direct. You can see the Speedy. This is the Conduit Reamer. I had it pulled up so you could see it. Uh, there's the 6-in-1, the 11-in-1, and then look at these glorious things. Man, I wish, back when I started all of this, they would have had this available, uh, the foam trays. And then again, they've got them down here. These aren't like brand, brand new, but I think a lot of people might not be aware that this is offered. Uh, again, you can get this from KC Tool as well. All their wrenches, socket sets, VDE stuff. You get the idea. All right, pretty, pretty dadgum expansive. So... Uh, let's close that out. Let's come in here to Vera, and we're just going to kind of slide through this. This is their, you know, direct website. You can sort of see if you have trouble, you know, like on KC Tool or wherever you're trying to pull this stuff up, you can always go direct to the website. And if you do that, you kind of get a good feel for what is included. Then you can either take the part number or the name or whatever and kind of come in. But you'll see these are the new, new items, if you will. And uh, there's our familiar little bit holder here. There's our torque wrenches. We've got all the ESD stuff. They have some smartphone. Yeah, there it is right there. Uh, heavy metal one, two, three. So that seems to be your three choices right there. And then again, there's our funky little <laughs> hex keys. I've still never tried the Zyklop speed ratchet. Uh, it's been on my to-do list. Uh, maybe at some point in time we'll bring it in. This right here I knew about last time. I didn't want to like spoil it. I think I still won't spoil it. But yes, you can see what the advent calendar is. If you want to do that, uh, feel free. But I will leave it at that. So what I'm going to do now is come in here to Hazette. Because they probably have the most you know, new products. The most like buzz right now, I would say. Or at least they do, in my opinion. And for a good reason. Number one, we got the catalogs, and we know they're on top of that. This right here is essentially the same as the Ghidorah Silent Gear. It was in their advent calendar. It's now available standalone. A uh, little bit more pricey than the Ghidorah, but again, you know, kind of whatever you prefer. And I want to really highlight this, though. 
this right here, uh, and I've checked with Colin like Wednesday or something. I was trying to figure out like when they thought they might have some of this stuff from Hazette. He's thinking maybe late April, but uh, that glorious thing right there is the 810 BHK. That's going to be a compact locking bit holder, and uh, we're going to pick that up. That thing is, for Hazette, that is basement bargain price right there. And what's funny, this little guy right here, you look, look at that 1691. This is sort of like your previous model, right? And then the brand new one that's sort of updated there as well seven cents more i feel pretty good about that uh do i have this maybe i do i've talked to some of you trying to find some locking bit holder and uh you might be seeing this in an upcoming video but let's just say if you do it might be pretty good <laughs> So, uh, the bottom line though, if you see this and you really want it, stop and ask yourself, do you want this one or do you want this one? Because the price point of seven cents increase for the newer design, uh, you're not really going to like break the bank there. So that was pretty cool in my opinion. Now coming in here, this is where things get real interesting. So uh, I had no idea this was happening, believe you me. Uh, Casey Tool Hall 50, which you saw, which was the giveaway. I had that stuff back from when Casey Tool Hall did the 20% off Hazet sale to coincide with the launch of the 916 HP. That's being their super, super overkill half inch drive ratchet, which I absolutely love. Now, what Hazette has done now, if you watch my videos, I don't really have anything negative to say, especially about the 916. But the one thing I said, and I think a lot of people probably echoed the same thing, is like, oh, well, I'm used to a push button. And it's like, well, my validation is, well, you know, they built this, they over-engineered it, that's a point of weakness, that's why it's not here. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's right here. This glorious little gem right here. Take the 916 HP and then add the quick release, your push button. That's, I believe, the only change they've made to it. And uh, yeah, it's available. I believe it's available across all the sizes. <laughs> and, uh, it's not available yet. Um, April 19th, I don't know if that would be accurate or not. Maybe it would be. But I'm kind of trying to debate which size to get. Uh, because I definitely want to have that in my... I really, really like the 916 HP, the fit. And when I say fit in that case, I'm talking about with my hand. Uh, it's pretty much perfect. And uh, it really... I mean, 3 8 I think I'd be more versatile. But half inch and as over-engineered as this thing is, it almost seems like the way to go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. There's a funny story. I purchased something that might be a ratchet, and uh, just earlier this week, before you know, I knew that these were available. I didn't know when these were coming out, and uh, then they got added to the KC Tool website. They were on the new arrivals page, and they've been pulled off now. Because, like I said, they don't stay there long. That's why you need to check back frequently. But uh, yeah everything you love about the HP line from a Z now has a quick release. So if that's why you didn't buy one, if you'd seen videos, if your buddy had one, if you're like, oh, that's really nice, but I want a quick release, well, guess what? Now you have it. <laughs> and uh, you can order one, and you will literally have it here pretty soon. So uh, coming down, though, we are not done. No, 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 no. Number one, check this out. So you got the 916, which that's going to be our half inch. We got the 8816, which that's what Dreamcat 4 won. But the S on the end of the part number, that's going to indicate that it is the quick button, you know, push button release. Uh, similarly, 863, that's going to be the quarter drive HP. So all three of them right here, I don't have the long ones, you know, or any extended ones. Uh, but realistically, uh, this is plenty. And there you can kind of see the current price points on them. So coming in, this matches quite nicely with this. And if you know, they're the exact same price. <laughs> so uh, if you're sitting there and you are sick of every single bit holder that you tried and nothing works, you got a new option. I'm assuming this would be Slovenia, Germany. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, really, really good. That teal color, uh, they're, they need to utilize that more in my opinion, just because it's so distinct. But uh that's interesting. Personally, if I was going to go that route, 
I would buy this. But if you've got an impact or something, you're, again, just ticked off. You can't find a good one. Try that one out and uh, come back and tell me how you like it. <laughs> so uh, moving on. These are absurd. Okay. Uh, one of my other questions for Colin was if he knew if they were going to have, like, any quarter or three-eighths stuff coming. Uh, I also want to highlight this. They've got these L boxes available. Again, Ghidorah does as well which those have been out a long time. Some of you might like those, especially if you do the foam insert or you just want to have that case and you're going to build your own kit or something. This was new, I don't know, a month or so ago. I was really intrigued by it, but it's in metric dimensions. I never bothered to translate it. But that is a metal case, and I thought that kind of be, like, cool to throw, like, especially if you got, like, vintage stuff uh, and you wanted to, like, have a little, you know, socket set in your trunk or something. Uh, there's also, this is fairly new. That's the Junior Toy Set. Let's actually, there's a review on it, so let's use this person to tell you about it. Keep in mind, these aren't, like, real functional. It's, like, for your kids, right? Uh, so, a good toy set without the box. Unknown says, nice toys. Nice toy tools, but no box. Okay. So, I guess it doesn't come with the L1, maybe? Yeah not included so yeah i guess if you want that just you know piece it together or that 197.3 again that won't apply to all of us but if you got kids or grandkids or you know nieces nephews whatever it might be uh that is an option for you start them off young right <laughs> so coming in back to this though this is interesting so they've got these new smart cases right and uh, this one has 69 pieces. Let's try to take a look at it. You're getting some pretty nice extended bits. Looks like we've got hex profiles. We got posi over there. Looks like we got a one and two Phillips. We've got slotted. We got 20, 25, and 30 for torques. Got some hex keys here. You got more bits over here. Ooh, torques for days, man. External torques. Okay, so that I'd never bothered to actually look at this. That's interesting. You're gonna. You're going to have pretty much every bit. Now, if you already have bits, you know, it's, do you want more? Um, the case would be an interesting thing in and of itself. But check this out. That little gym back there. So we know that this guy and this guy both bump out to about 17 bucks a piece. So that's $34. That means for 100 bucks, you're paying for the case, a crud ton of bits, and some hex keys. And it's pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. There's sort of a rundown on everything. Now we're going to close this. And this is the other one. And I'm pretty <laughs> uh, pretty intrigued by this. This is one that I was in particular wondering if they would do something like 3 eighths or half inch with the smart case. So... Check this out. You're getting number one, looks to be a decent length extension, but number two, you got the bit ratchet. Again, I brought this in on the sale, and with the bit ratchet, when you pair it with this little guy hidden in the corner, we're able to not just run bits, but run sockets. Now, if you peruse the KC Tool website, or you're a fan of Hazette stuff, you know that their sockets aren't cheap. <laughs> okay, we got three, six, nine. We got 12 sockets here from Hazette. And I know they're small, I know they're quarter drive, I know they'd be turned with a bit ratchet, but you still have 12 of them. And of course, they're quarter drive, so you can pair it with any quarter drive ratchet you have. The 18832 might not be that bad if, number one, you don't, if you don't have the bit ratchet, that's a hundred bucks in and of itself, being that that's a Hazette extension, we can put like 20 bucks minimum on it. And then 12 sockets? I feel like we've crossed this price threshold already. But you come down here to the bottom level and we've got the extended length bits as well. So this would have been awesome for me had I not already bought the bit ratchet. <laughs> and, uh, as someone that now has the bit ratchet, it's sort of a hard pill to swallow. If I did not have the bit ratchet, this would be coming. And uh, what I was interested in is trying to pan this out to three eighths. I, I realized we ditched the bitch, the bits, <laughs> I should say. Uh, bear with me; it's two thirteen in the morning. But uh, if we ditched the bits and kept the sockets, or had the three eighths drive quick release with the new bit rat, bit uh, driver, 
<laughs> we would be home free here. So there is a rundown again on what is included in this. It is pretty comprehensive. And again, sadly right now, these are the only two that I am aware of. And uh, I would love to know if like three-eighths or half-inch stuff was coming, particularly if they are going to pair it with these brand new ratchets so that remains to be seen but uh, hey it is what it is now coming in right here the azette website we sort of have the exact same thing but again if you scroll through here you can come in you'll see the bit ratchet one the adapter uh, if you keep going you'll see some some of you might be interested in the torque wrenches and stuff there's some crow feet and everything there's that uh, then we've got the bit holder that locks we've got the roof super ridiculously awesome ratchets and then of course all the insulated stuff and some air tools but i think that covers it i think that brings you up to speed with what is new in german tools for essentially like early spring again i don't know how frequently we'll get to do this stuff uh the brands that i skipped didn't really have anything new at least that we could like showcase just yet and uh yeah so i think we covered what we needed to here and uh, again, congratulations to Dreamcats. Again, if you shoot me a message any, anywhere I'm at, and uh, I will forward that over to Colin. <laughs> if you don't trust me, uh, I can have him uh, contact you. Whatever works best for you, and we'll figure something out again. Uh, huge thanks to KC Tool because that was their idea. I was literally trying to get you all t-shirts, and he was like, no, let's give them a great ratchet. So I'm not going to sit here and argue with that. So I uh, definitely hope you enjoy the new ratchet again. It is the 8816HP. And uh, again, the S was not available at that point in time. It's still not available, at least here in America. But uh, definitely think you're going to enjoy that thing. Again, being 3.8, you sort of get like the most versatility, I would say. Hopefully it works well uh, for you. Hopefully it serves you well for many, many, many years. And uh Definitely uh, check back with us. Let us know how you're liking it once you have it. Because, again, first-hand feedback is the best feedback. But uh, that brings you up to speed with what I know. There's probably some things that slipped through the cracks. There's probably some other items that we'll cover. Uh, again, if you want to see these, like if there's like... Knipex releases two new products and you like want to see it immediately let me know in the comments I can always do that these videos are super easy to make and uh, I'll try to keep you posted in that manner if you prefer for me to wait where there's like a load of stuff like this I can do that as well but as you can see probably in the bottom corner it's 2 16 a.m. and if you recall I told you I had to be out of here at 9 in the morning haven't <laughs> showered uh, at least I got the workout done but uh, yeah I better get on to that because we gotta gotta edit and upload and man my internet is slow so it's gonna take some time but hopefully it's ready by nine but with that said let me know what here that we showcased are you the most excited for and uh, if you somehow have experience with any of these items maybe you're overseas or something you already have them maybe you get to like beta test stuff somehow uh, let everybody know what you're thinking of them and uh, on another note new style versus old style which one do you prefer similarly with the vera are you the pouch type or are you the clip type <laughs> and, uh, i know a ton of you have the knipex cable shears are you going to purchase the new style and if so why and if not why not uh, obviously you know that's something that i think is going to last a long time but some people you know the new new model comes out and they just have to get it so uh you know then you can pass the other one down you know give it to a buddy sell it for a few bucks whatever uh the cool thing with those shears they're not super expensive so it's not you know like the end of the world but uh with that said i had better quit rambling and again big big thanks to all of you for tuning in for supporting the channel enjoying it uh, again you know throwing stuff out on the internet you never know if anyone's gonna find it you never know if they're gonna like it but i've uh, been doing it so long i guess at least some of you like it so <laughs> <laughs> that's good enough for me uh, as long as like just a handful of people enjoy what you're doing i guess it's an incentive to keep going but uh yeah uh we will be back with more tool halls the ram revival for any of you you know here on the channel for that my apologies not getting videos out i've got something that has kept me at a standstill for a really long time uh i might resolve that this weekend when i get back tomorrow uh, it remains to be seen uh, if I don't I'm thinking on Wednesday I've got a ton of videos pre-recorded so I've got like stuff from the challenger stuff from the duster I might just throw one of those out there and uh, take that in stride I don't know uh, but like I said I've already got you know we're up through 55 on the KC tool hauls and got some other stuff in route and uh, I've been doing a lot of shopping at Harbor Freight recently so uh, I'll probably record some of that eventually 
But uh, I actually picked up an earthquake impact today. Uh, one of the old Ingersoll Rands went down at work again, which they don't last quite as long as they used to. But I went in for the new green one. Uh, they didn't have it, even though the internet said they did. I ran up there for lunch around like 2 o'clock and was super excited. They didn't have it. And I uh, wound up buying like one of the little stubby guys. That's the one with like 700 foot-pounds of tour. That sucker is not bad. I mean, it's day one. It's day one. Keep that in mind. But uh, pretty impressive. It's composite, too. And it's like a third or a quarter of the weight of the Aaron Go So that's that's nice in my hands. Plus, for where I stationed it, uh, being compact will actually be a big advantage as well. So uh, Anyway, though, that's another story for another day. I'll probably post, and post a picture of that thing on Instagram. But uh, if you follow along there, you'll see it. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. Here on YouTube, if you are not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Will we do more giveaways? Possibly. And if we do, one of my criteria will always be that you're subscribed. And the other one will probably be a stupid hashtag that makes it easier for me to find your comment and not accidentally overlook you. So, uh, yeah, uh, there are some things I would like to give away. There's some, you know, if the channel takes off, it's easier to do that sort of a thing. So, again, feel free to share the channel as well. But uh, I think I can't honestly remember. Uh, we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. I want to say I said it was 5,000. I would buy stuff from Snap-on. It might have been 10, I honestly can't remember, but I think what we'll do, we'll just set the milestone now. When we hit 5,000, I'll bring in some stuff from Snap-on. Not a ton, you know, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> Even compared to his head, it's really expensive, so. Uh, but I have some some stuff in mind. Uh, Yoda Doug many, many moons ago showed me, like, the little uh, three-position combo pliers. I've always wanted to try those out. I mean, of course, need to get a ratchet because everyone raves about them. And, yes, you guessed it, screwdrivers. So, <laughs> that'll be, I guess, like our next channel milestone, maybe. So, uh, shoot for that. If you want to see me bring in Snap-on stuff, I think we're, like, 700 or something away so uh, but that said i better get off of here and i uh, do thank you so much for watching most importantly i hope you have a fantastic weekend and for dreamcat 4 he's having a fantastic weekend because he's won a new hazette 8816 hp 38 drive ratchet again definitely hope you enjoy that hit me up wherever you prefer and uh, we will do our best to uh, get that sent out via kc tools so again big thanks to them for sort of handling the back in there so uh, with that said, again, big thanks to everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more of this type of stuff, how best you prefer it, and I will do my best to accommodate you. So, uh, thanks for watching. I better get going, and I will catch you back here for the next thrilling installments of What's New.